Hello and welcome to Community, the new software support portal hosted by Salesforce. As part of Spoke's ongoing commitment to provide exceptional service and support to our wireless and software internal, external customer bases, Spoke has partnered with Salesforce.com as the vendor for our customer relationship management tool and incident management system. As a part of this initiative, a new customer web portal has also been established. With this tool, you will be able to create and manage cases as well as have access to product, knowledge, and general support documentation. Some may ask, why Salesforce? Salesforce allows for both wireless and software customer bases to be accessible within a single system, including the ability to see relationships between shared customers. Now let's get started. You will continue to log on to the web portal as you do today by going to Spoke.com, selecting Customer Support, and Software Support Portal. In selecting Software Support Portal, you will land here at the login page. You will be required to enter in your customer login information, email or login, password, and select login. Once you have logged in successfully, you will be taken to the home page of Community. We are currently logged in as a multi-user or Community Plus user. A multi-user is one that is a contact on multiple accounts and needs access to all of those accounts accordingly. On the menu bar, we have accounts, cases, knowledge, and reports. Accounts will take you to a list of accounts that are associated to the contact or those accounts that the contact needs access to. Cases will allow you to manage your existing cases. You can view closed community cases, open cases, as well as recently viewed cases. Currently, we are reviewing the closed community cases. You can sort by account name, current case owner, date and time open, priority, status, subject, as well as case number. The Knowledge tab will take you to general support documentation, product information, as well as all article types. You can also filter on the product that you're interested in. Report will take you to a list of pre-existing reports created for the associated accounts. You can also export this data into an Excel file. When clicking on the link for the report, you have access to see a graph or chart as well as the detail associated to the chart. Again, you can also export the details associated to this report here. In order to create account, you can select the Accounts tab. Select the associated account.
new case. And you'll notice that the contact name is pre-populated. You'll also notice that the account name is also pre-populated. The status defaults to new. You will also be required to enter in a product, a subject, and a description. The red bars next to each field indicate that this is a field that requires data. In this example, we'll select administration as the product. Enter our subject and a description. Please note that it is important to leave the assign using active assignment rules field checked, as this will ensure that the case is routed to the center that handles your product. Once you've completed the required information, simply hit Submit. You will notice that a case number is assigned at the top. In the event that you need to add specific comments associated to the case, simply hit Add Comment and type your information followed by save. In the event that you need to add an attachment to the case, you would do so by selecting File, upload a file from your computer, browse, go to the location where the data is stored, open, and share. If you need to cancel, you can cancel here. You will notice that the file has been posted. You also notice that in the case comments section, your case comments are visible. Now, let's review my profile. My profile has the user and contact information that we have on file in the system. You have access to change your password, simply enter in your new password and verify the password. You also have access to edit user and con contact information with the exception of the username and the email address, as these fields are unique to the contact information in Salesforce. In the event you attempted to update the username, you would get an error as displayed here. Any change in your username or email address must be handled by Spoke, and as such, a case must be created in order to handle the request. Let's review Community Plus links. My account takes you to the list of accounts that the contact is associated with. You can create a case, enter in the appropriate information, it is recommended for any case creation that you do so from the Accounts tab or the My Accounts tab. My Open Cases, as well as My Closed Cases, takes you to the cases 
that are associated to each account. Currently reviewing all open community cases across all accounts. Community report takes us back to report. Recent item simply displays those items that were recently reviewed. As a reminder, Customers are encouraged to use the customer community for creation of non-critical cases only. A link to our prioritization guidelines has been included to assist with this process. The cases icon allows you to create a new case as well as to manage existing cases. Please keep in mind that case creation is encouraged from the Accounts tab as well as the My Accounts tab. Knowledge will take you to the Knowledge tab. Again, includes general support documentation, product information, and all article types. Reports takes you back to the reports page. In the event that you needed to email technical support, you can do so by selecting this icon and entering any specific information you would like for technical support to know. Please note that a case will be created on your behalf. Providing an authorized contact has a change request, as an example, updating the existing contact list. The request can be submitted by clicking on this link and simply sending an email. Also included is additional reference information at the very bottom of the screen. An analyst will respond to non-critical cases submitted through the customer community within one business day. Spoke support model, service level expectation, and service catalog can be accessed in the knowledge section. Customers can also email or contact technical support by clicking on this link or via phone at 800-420-9705. There are also supported browsers for customer community. Clicking on this link will take you to the Salesforce page that has this data. This concludes our tutorial for customer community. Thank you for joining.